The words that the author uses are very simple for the narrative. The sentences are short and simple, but they provide a description for the illustrations for a deeper understanding of what's happening on each page. It was on top of the world when it happened. Its entire life changed with the switch of a button. As you can see, the bug is literally on top of the world. It's on top of a globe, and the vacuum is behind it, and it's about to get sucked up into the vacuum. As you can see, the words are simple and sentences are short, but they give us, the readers, a much deeper understanding of the illustration. On the other hand, the words and the font the author uses for bug are more witty and charming and also greatly enhance the illustrations. Bug's narrative changes based on his emotions and tend to emphasize his attitude toward the stage of grief he's feeling. For example, on this page, he's feeling denial. He says things like, this is amazing. Duh, it doesn't get much cozier than this. Can't wait to tell my friends about this place. As you can see, the font is more bubbly. Some of the words are uh, bolded to emphasize his feeling. And even the font changes. The font size changes. The author also uses wordplay on household items to better um, describe the, each stage of grief. This was a bubble soap. Here it's describing the stage of bargain bargaining. It says, wash away your troubles. Ready for a clean slate? Want a brighter future? Neat results fast? He, the author uses the words on household items to give readers a better understanding of what each stage is about. Some of the literary technique that the author uses are lack of framing and a lot of demand. From the character, the full bleed pages make the reader feel like they're right there with the bug in each stage of grief. There's also a lot of demand in this book. There are many instances where bug is looking right at the reader with his big 3D eyes. It helps the reader connect with bug and see in his eye what eyes what he's feeling. The author also very cleverly uses the things that were vacuumed up to better demonstrate what the text says. So as you can see on this page, we, we can see things that were laying around the house and that were vacuumed up. Now they're in the vacuum with the bug, such as the pencil, the popcorn, the dice, um, the toy plane, the cards, the bottle cap. Some of the literary elements the author uses are foreshadowing, using household items as symbols for each stage of grief, multiple storylines and a changing point of view, and a character that is changing and growing. For example, in the very beginning, for example, on the ver in the very beginning of the book, there are alternate definitions of bug and vacuum foreshadowing what the book is about. Bug is an unexpected glitch and vacuum is a void left by loss, by a loss. And as you read the book, you also notice the various different, as you read the book, you also notice the various different household items, which is also foreshadowing us about the, about them later representing the five different stages of grief. There is also a changing point of view. The book starts out with a third person narrative, then changes to first person point of view, and then back to third person again. For example, you can see in the beginning, there is a third person point of view. And then after the bug is sucked up into the vacuum, it changes to first person. The author does this because once Bug is in the vacuum and starts going through the five stages of grief, the reader is able to get more insight if the narrative is in the first person ra rather than third person. There is also a multiple storyline in which the dog Napoleon loses his toy to the vacuum and is going through the same stages as Bug, although he doesn't say anything. For example, on this page, Napoleon is also experiencing the stage of anger.
the character grows and changes throughout the book. He goes from being on the very top of the world to getting sucked into a vacuum and feeling a whirlwind of emotions from denial to bargaining to anger to despair and then finally to acceptance. to finally where he is freed from the vacuum again.